So number two in uh, our series of other BSDs that we can use as a desktop, we're going for NetBSD today. Welcome back to the channel. Thank you for subscribing and liking my videos. Much appreciated. Please continue to do so. Don't forget to click the little bell icon. That will give you notifications of uh, upcoming videos. So without further ado, let's, let's jump into it, shall we? So here we go, XFCE on NetBSD. Again, I've gone with very basic stuff. Interestingly, I had installed Firefox, but that doesn't seem to be Firefox. Okay, well, well. We'll install that while we're uh, looking at other stuff. So let's check this out. No user local. That's strange. Yeah, that might take a while. Okay, so let's... Uh, Get you out of the way. We've got our fish terminal, like this one. Very good. <laughs> Let's have a look. Uh, yeah. So what we got? We got the bulk rename. That must come with XFCE, you know. That's it's nice. Okay, so what have we got? Yeah. So what version of XFC are we running? Don't know. But it doesn't matter. It looks like it's the same version as from OpenBSD. Logged in as root again, I know. I've got to stop doing that. I didn't click on that. So let's look at Office. LibreOffice was installed from package in, PKGIN. Seems like a, a nice little utility. Quite like that. Very quick. Yeah, not bad at all. So let's have a look at this one. Let's go with a writer document. Yep. 7241. I believe that's a newer version than was on OpenBSD. Now, OBS Studio, does it run? Nice bit of static. Zero, zero, 001, this is like the first one. Wow. That's old. Hmm. <laughs> I could end up playing around with this quite a bit. I uh, just can't believe how old this OBS is. But, uh, there we go. That's going to take a while, isn't it? So what else have we got in the accessories? Uh, screenshot, yeah. Image viewer. LC media player. No, I didn't install that, so that's just been installed. That's That's... I like that. That's a good option. That's always a good thing to just install. Okay. So what else can we add? Uh, let's add GIMP, shall we? Package in, install, GIMP. Hmm. 
we'll have some of that. So to answer the question, can you use NetBSD as a desktop? Clearly, yes, you can. Have a look at our theming. Mm -hmm. Yeah, what's interesting, there's, there's no dark theme here, which is a shame. And of course, Power management won't really use much of that, to be honest. This is a, a desktop. It's not not a laptop. Some funny resolutions. See, that's weird, isn't it? Because that is not what opens. I mean, it is, but it's not. Not what I asked it to install. So let's see if it's got Chromium. No. Unless I've spelt that wrong. Which I haven't. It's in package source, but not package in. Is that right? Let's have a look. Hmm. Yeah, I think they've taken that out. Can't say I blame them for that. So GIMP is installed. Let's check that out. Nice. 210. Yeah, not bad. A few bits of software that are, are missing for my liking. But yeah, not bad at all. Not bad. Don't like the fact that there's no dark mode. That's a bit annoying to me. I do like a dark mode. But uh, yeah, you can use this. This is uh, actually feels quite snappy compared to OpenBSD, I have to be honest. Let's check out the file system. Uh, CD ROM dev, ETC, can. Yeah, everything you would expect. No user local. Coming from FreeBSD, you find that very strange. But there we go. Yeah, it's not there. Which is fine. You don't need it. Yeah, of course, that would be there. Because obviously you need that. I mean, you don't need that. I would need that. That's my preferred email client. Let's see how quick it is. That's not bad. That's quite nippy. And where is it? There it is. Let's fire it up. There it is. Yeah, not too bad at all. Not too bad. Suspect that will take a while. So there you go, guys. There's NetBSD. 
you can use it as a desktop, definitely. Hope you find this useful and it helps you in some way. If you did, click the like, subscribe, click the, the bell notification to get notifications of uh, upcoming videos when I release them. And I'll see you in the next one. Take care.